Growing up, I, I saw my dad experience a lot of symptoms that other DM patients have. Muscles getting weaker, um, heart problems. Friends would ask me, oh, why is your dad like mad? You know, why doesn't he ever smile? And uh, it was because his face muscles were weak. Myotonic dystrophy seems to affect almost all parts of the body. This disease can affect anyone from babies to adults. DM patients often have uh, myotonia, which is the inability to relax their muscles after contraction. Muscle wasting and weakness is a really uh, major symptom often. Weakness spreads to many parts of the body and, and some patients end up being in wheelchairs. It affects the heart in terms of uh, cardiac arrhythmias. A really significant component of DM is profound fatigue and a lot of sleepiness. I started hockey around when I was eight. At first I played on the field, but um, they needed a goalie and they asked who would go and go for our next game and no one raised their hand, so they said they would give a bag of candy to whoever went in goal, so I raised my hand and I did it once and after that I never wanted to stop, so. My freshman year in college, I started having trouble with gripping things and letting go of them. And so I got diagnosed with myotonic dystrophy. To go from that level to someone who probably will never ever play at college was kind of hard. I'm constantly tired at all times. Even if I sleep, I can sleep 14 hours straight and I'll still be tired. I decided I would stay on the field hockey team um, for my love of the sport and I wasn't going to give up anything due to the disease. So with my team we got together and we had a big fundraiser every year to raise money and awareness for my time to speak. I never really thought that I could have a big impact on changing that situation. There was this moment where I realized that, yeah, I, I, should, I should totally study this disease. From that point forward, I started contacting other researchers around the world about you know, what kinds of work they were doing, what are the major problems in this disease, or what are the questions that are remaining, and how do we get from there to something that's going to affect patients. I received an early independence award from NIH, and that's what really allowed me to start my lab and take my research to the next level. I really wanted to take action and do something about this disease, so I joined the board of the Mytonic Dystrophy Foundation. And then after college, I couldn't think of anything I would rather do than do research on my own disease. I like to imagine certain people that I know who have DM, who one day will probably be better. I think that as long as we you know, put in the, the time and the energy and the resource and we get the right people around the table, that vision I have for the future is going to happen. We've got a lot of people interested in all different spaces, not just in the academic side, but also from companies and also in the media about DM and the progress it's made, and we really want to continue that streak.